Black-owned businesses are on the rise here in the United States with goods and services that really transcend national boundaries. However, there are many opportunities that they do not seize when it comes to doing business abroad, and particularly in Africa. We know that, as we mentioned earlier, about images. In the image of Africa, a lot of time is not very positive in the media. So a lot of it has to do with ignorance and other reasons also that we will discuss today. And yes, my name is Lidwin Mepho, originally from Cameroon, and I am an advisor at the United Nations. I am an author of four books, and I am the CEO of a NGO called the Somali Foundation based here in Africa and uh, in the Middle East. So today I'm, we are here as an author to brag about Africa in Africa. Uh, I'm Mr. Uh, Mr. the African Brain Trust panel earlier this morning, and there was someone who made a comment that the Chinese are turning Africa into a plantation. And I know this has been a subject of a lot of debate in African countries. Yes. Uh, but I want to part of a program that deals with women empowerment. About women empowerment. Yes. Okay. So we were there to educate women to learn how to write their name, educate the children, all, all those basic stuff. But because of the language barrier, the husband didn't want the wives to be educated. So it was difficult to make that program happen right there. That's number one. Number two, in Africa, also in Cameroon, when I went last year, to build the library, a replenished library in Cameroon. And then I went back, I called my mentor, and I said, this is what happened right, right there in Cameroon. They say, why do I bring white people books in Cameroon? They say, because black people do not write. Can you tell us a little more about what you do? Because you okay. came here as a refugee, and it's been able to really uh, overcome a lot of challenges. Well, if you want to, just speak it. Me? I don't want to say anything. I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> he has a fascinating story. I mean, you don't have to talk about it. If they know my South Sudan is what they do, you applaud him again. I'm the four books now. Yes, I am the author of four books, and today I just brought two. And those are the latest The Power of Anger. I will tell you that the United States has turned me into someone that. I did not recognize. I had to fight. I had to seek God. I had to search into myself. And all this book is telling you that you can be a bitter person. You can be an angry person, but you don't have to hurt yourself. You don't have to abuse alcohol. You don't have to go and do something that you're not supposed to do. And anger can be something positive. When you are angry, it turns you to be a lonely person. And when you're lonely, you search for God. And when you search for God, you can excel. You can be a beautiful person. You can go to school, have a one, you can go for one master degree like me and go for the second master degree like me. And still doesn't speak a proper English, but still going to school, okay? Yes, this is me. And I'm not ashamed, I'm not shy. I speak English. And Abla Espanol. So at least I'm trying hard, okay? So this is the beauty of this week. 